<laughs> After uh, watching film from the scrimmage, what, what did you learn about this team? Well, uh, the first scrimmage uh, was about what I thought uh, on the field. I thought the one defense uh, really took it to the one offense, uh, played with more effort, uh, played more physical, uh, was excited to be there, uh, and uh, really had uh, the better day. Uh, the ones made some plays when we got into situational football, but when we put the ball down and played football, uh, they played faster, they played more physical, and, which was good to see. Uh, you know, there's a lot of room and improvement uh, for the ones, but I uh, thought we had a good day today uh, offensively to bounce back. The twos uh, had the better day, uh, primarily uh, Xavier Williams. Uh, they couldn't cover Xavier after the day. I think he caught seven for about 170. Uh, and sh sh could have caught a couple more. He could have had about 270 yards worth of receiving. And then Bryce Peters kind of got it going, uh, running the ball pretty physical. But uh, overall, there were a lot of good things uh, that we took from the scrimmage. I thought it was ahead of where we were last year uh, as far as the physicality standpoint defensively. Uh, and what they're doing defensively is causing us some problems. Uh, Three, four the pressure, uh, which is which is good to see. More yeah, specifically sorry. to your defense, uh, how did the defensive line look? Because you're replacing that entire unit, and did they create some? They did. They did. Okay. They did. Okay. They did. Okay. Uh, Ohini uh, showed up, who's not really a lineman; he's an outside backer. Yeah. Uh, and Colorado showed up a couple times. Uh, the, the pass rush was generated by the pressure and missed assignments offensively. But in terms of run stopping your defensive line, were they fitting gaps the way you hope, or well, it, they giving you promise? Uh, they, we got to get better up front. Right. We were able to uh, stop people and pressure by uh, stop people and get pressure on the quarterback by bringing four to five guys. Okay. I would say it's because of the front three. A very original and surprising question: What's the state of your quarterback's competition? Right well, uh, you know, I thought uh, the first scrimmage, I thought Colin Hill and Nick Stevens had the, had the better day. Uh, you know, but it's a process. It's one practice, and we'll continue to evaluate those. And competition will go go on. Uh, you know, we did. Nick and Colin did a nice job protecting the ball. We had one turn. Well, Colin did fun on snap. We had one turnover uh, on a force by Fatone, uh, but uh, I, would, I was I've been pleased all camp. We still got to be more consistent on the routine plays. Uh, you know, the bright spot of the whole scrimmage to me was at quarterback was probably the freshman. Uh, he did some nice things. How about Fatone so far? Uh, he did not have his best day in the scrimmage. Uh, had a better day today, a, a lot better day. You mentioned Williams having a big day in the scrimmage. How close do you think he is to really taking that next step? Well, he has potential uh, to be a dominant receiver in this league, uh, but he's got to be more consistent on every play. He tends to take plays off and play high. Uh, but when he's got his mind locked in, he's hard to cover. And he was going against the twos. Uh, but, uh, you know, Coach Witt had sent him a message. He's twos today, uh, even after having a big scrimmage, which I like. And he knows what he's got to do, and he knows we need him to be an explosive playmaker for us, but he's got to be consistent in all areas of his life. You Michael, see Nick having stepped up as a leader and more. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. I see him more comfortable in his role of being the quarterback. Last year, he was trying to figure out himself and what he has to do. Uh, but he ha he has to be able to lead this football team in his own way, but he has to be able to get guys to follow him, uh, offensively and defense. Uh, the quarterback position has got to be a guy that can cross over on both sides of the ball and be, be a leader. How but, overall do you feel about this defense and just your team's adapting to the 3-4 change? And no, I, I feel really good of uh, the e execution and knowing what we're doing. Uh, as far as assignment-wise, there's a lot uh, less bust than I thought there would be. Uh, now we've got to play better uh, in situations, and then we're a little bit thin, and we got to add some competition in, in the fall. But uh, as far as executing and getting Coach English call and being in the right spot and the right coverage, uh, I think we're doing a good job there, but we still got to play a lot better. Do you think there's a couple defensive starters that are guys that might end up being starters for you that are going to show up in the summer? Yeah, oh, no, definitely, most definitely. There's going to be defensive starters and offensive starters that Speaking are coming.